Hey fellas, Jazz here and I'm coming back to YouTube, specifically to do Open Fortress content since I really like the game. This is a TF2 mod that I really love since it's basically Quake 3 with TF2 logic and visuals. I play really regularly and I've been thinking of some cool ideas for Open Fortress videos. With some of the cool stuff coming around the corner for this game, I'm definitely excited to make some cool content on this game and add to the community discussion, as well as get new players interested in the game. Especially because I have been called good on several occasions from other players, and I have some ideas for tutorials, so I guess I'd be a good fit for this sort of thing. I also just like the idea of coming back and doing this type of content again. Of course I may not be able to do it full time as I have uni and I'm also working on a big project of mine that some of you may already know about. It's called Burbat and it's my very own platform shooter game that's currently on early access on Steam. It's basically what you'll get if you recontextualize a lot of shooter elements into a platformer and also you're a bird called Sunny and you do a screen to shoot and that's pretty epic and unique. And we got hella weapons, we got hella maps and a full single player campaign and and I'll be updating this game over the coming years. If you want to support what I do, you can buy this game on Steam or play the demo. Anyways, make sure to check that out after this video is done. I worked really hard on it and I would appreciate you giving it some love. Okay, on with the video. If anything, I may as well do a short review of the game whilst I'm here. For those who are new, Open Fortress is an arena shooter that takes after Quake 3, Unreal Torment, and a bit of Doom. It's actually a mod of an old 2008 version of Team Fortress 2, and runs on the same engine. It's basically a massive love letter to old id software and Valve games with everything that makes TF2 great, and everything that makes Quake fun mechanically rolled into one package. The devs are super active, the game plays like a dream and is mostly simple, but has a lot of nuances when it comes to deathmatch skill, weapons, power-ups and map knowledge. A lot of maps are recreations from other games and the weapons are mostly standard fare. Open Fortress does have a few cool unique maps and weapons, namely Skate, Wazo, Lobster Shore and Thames. They also got a Tommy gun, a flamethrower, dual pistols, a Doom style super shotgun, custom super weapons, along with all the arena shooter classics and even some TF2 specific weapons. Maps that were poured from TF2 have a different aesthetic that makes them unique. Oh yeah, some TF2 maps were ported over with some changes, and they work really well here. Everything about its in-your-face style and soundtrack is amazing as well. The gameplay feels fast, but not completely off the wall, while still feeling fun and chaotic with a lot of players. I like the aiming, the bunny hop and airstrike movement feels tight and super fun to get good at. The weapon sound design is great, the music slaps, everything about this game just oozes charm and attitude. Sadly, this game's active player base is really small, what with being a mod and all, especially since you need an external program called an SVN to install the game, and the launcher isn't really out yet. Oh yeah, the launcher. Apparently a launcher is coming out. Now, it's not out at the time of recording, but this will probably make the game way more accessible and in my opinion, it should basically be the main focus of the dev team. Of course, there is also another dev project they're doing called Open Fortress Base, but I'll get to that. I really hope this is a nice alternative to the admittedly very archaic and non-newbie friendly SVN system, so that people can have an easier time installing the game. Even if this launcher is just a fancy frontend, that's still better than messing up the SVN installation because someone forgot to create the open underscore fortress folder and their source mods folder and all that stuff. No, seriously, I've had multiple people do this. I don't even know how I figured out this. All I know is that I had no idea how long it would take to download and I really could have gone for a damn progress bar. It would also be awesome if the launcher could automatically find the folder and check for updates and stuff. Also, I know the Discord server has this, but having access to a change log from the launcher would also be a neat feature that would be nice. Speaking of technical changes, if I'm going to cover my bases, I may as well talk about Open Fortress Base. It's a TF2 recreation that's going to be used as the basis for development after the team makes a switch. Presumably, it will also be the point when Open Fortress goes open source again. The reason the off team is doing this is because the current build is based on a leaked TF2 build from 2008, and I guess the team doesn't quite vibe with that since it's a bit of a grey area. If anything, this seems more like a necessity rather than something to be excited for. I saw people in the comment section of the OF base announcement video being confused as to what this even is, and I don't blame them honestly. 
Apparently there is also some performance upgrades and stuff, and that's going to be slightly easier to develop for as well. If anything, at least we're getting a performance upgrade and slightly easier modding and developing. I'd also like to talk side modes since they're pretty cool. Infection, Gun Game, Rocket Arena, Instajib, All Class, Lethal Lockdown, Retro Mode. Just a solid set of modes all around. The next big mode they're going to be updating is Retro Mode, which is basically All Class with TF Classic class and weapon recreations. If anything, I'm going to be more hyped for new Lethal Lockdown maps and the final version of that, since a single player cult mode is a really cool idea for anything TF2 related, so be sure to look out for that. So, Open Fortress is pretty good, and I have a few video ideas I'd love to make, just for something cool for the community to watch and as an entry point for new Open Fortress players. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads and stuff, it's just I've been swamped with work and I want to just talk about this game in general. I don't have a specific upload schedule, it's just I'll try to get out videos when I can. I'll also be doing content on my own game, Burbat interspersed between Open Fortress videos. Other than that, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.